Sorry about that. I can't bear listening to that song again. By the way, I might sound a little croaky due to that I have called the sniffles. Alright, let's first take a look at the hardware. Now for hardware, we used a standard video camera, a tripod, and a Mac. All of which we used earlier this year in our last project, making a fuller opening. We used a camera and tripod to film shots for the music video, like the slow angle mid shot, close up, and distance shot. However, we didn't use the tripod a lot, due to that as a convention in this genre of music for the camera to keep constantly moving. Plus, it made the home footage look believable. For the Mac, we used it for research into making our music video, Digipack, and magazine advert. Plus, it holds the software we used, but I'll talk about that later. The new hardware that we got was a photo camera and a tripod dolly. Now the photo camera was no rocket science to us, so we used it easily to take the pictures for the magazine advert and the digipack. The dolly however I found difficult to use, it was hard to steer and I thought I'd put the camera on a desperate 7 year old shopping trolley with only one wheel. And for the number of times we filmed with it, it only ended up in the final product 4 times. Overall, most of the hardware we used was useful. Now that all the hardware is done, let's move on to the software we used, which was iPhoto, Final Cut and Blogger. We also used Photoshop as well, but more about that later. Now, iPhoto was a new bit of software for me, and I was put off at first, until my brain clicked into realisation that iPhoto was really just a Mac Finder window, just to help put photos from a camera onto the Mac. Thought you can get away with that, didn't you Apple? Blogger is where we posted most of our research, ideas, and development towards making the music video, advert, and digipack. <laughs> Final Cut and I are no strangers, in fact, we're almost BFFs, and I know how to use it, and we used it to edit our music video. For example, to make the home footage look old, we used filters such as colour correction to make the black and white, a vignette, and an aged film. Another example of using Final Cut to edit was to make a transition from behind one head to another. This was made possible by fading one shot over another one, making the transition between the heads smooth. Another thing to take note was due to the large amount of cuts and clips, we used the Final Cut bits more often to keep the clips organised and easy to get to. Final Cut was a useful bit of software to help us make our music video look genuine. Now finally we move on to Photoshop, which was the second most important program because it helped make the magazine advert and the digipack. Before, I wasn't so confident with using Photoshop because I barely knew how to use it and it scared me. It didn't help that I was tasked to make the advert. The only experience I had was when we had one lesson where we were tasked to put a globe in someone's eye and it wasn't even that impressive. Luckily, I had my friend Zach, who apparently shares the same wardrobe as the BT guy, to help me out. However, he was focused on making the digipack, so he could only help me out a little. So while I worked, he almost became my kind of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Like I said, Zach worked on the digipack, and he did these various things to get what you see before you. But enough about what he did, and more about what I did. Firstly, I took the original picture of Liam, and then I used the polygonal lasso tool to get this. Then I used the polygon lasso tool again, but this time on the guitar and on Liam's head and hands, and then made them their own layers. This led me to put the guitar layers on top, while the head and hands were under a black and white layer, and the body was under another black and white layer, to get this. And then I took the black and white wall, and then put Liam in front of that wall, and then I used the blending tool to blend them with a red background with a black shade. But then I accidentally toggled the visibility on Liam's head and hands, making them look like this. I mean, I totally meant to do that. So after that, we decided to keep it because it related to our theme of memory, with the idea of forgetting someone's face. Kind of like what was happening to Marty's existence in Back to the Future. So after adding a bit of text, stars, logos, and a vignette, I finally had this wonderful gem. After that experience with Photoshop, it wasn't really all that bad, and it's just something that I needed to practice at. And it proved useful into making the digipack and the magazine advert look genuine. Overall, most of the technology we used proved useful into making our music video, magazine advert, and digipack and making them all look genuine. And before I go, to any of you who are still confused how I was able to blow up a title card with a gun, 
I'm a cartoon. Use a little imagination. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to take this sword, this hat, and go to the planet Mars and save the multi-universe all in the name of the moon. Bye.